Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and this is part two to a massive unboxing from Todd again. Thank you, Todd. Now, we left off with this Max Ace Sandstorm. Now, let's get into this box because we have quite a few more to get into. But just so you know, I linked, if you haven't seen part one, I'll, I'll link it down in the description. And the first knife is, oh yeah, I've checked this out from Lefty EDC. This is the Cimarron, or, or yeah, the Cimarron, the Finch Cimarron. Very cool. These are extremely well done. My favorite Finch knife is the Harvester. I think it's just such a great work knife. This has a very snappy detent, great liner lock, very smooth on the drop, titanium mill pocket clip. The G10 is knocked down or polished, I guess you could say. It's polished and very smooth. And yeah, I think QSP is doing these for Finch. Next. Set this right there. Next, we have the Kershaw Parcel. Never seen this one. I like this uh, beat up almost um, like it was picked up from like a city that was like just destroyed or something or maybe from like a mechanic floor, you know, like from a mechanic shop. Oh, that was snappy. Is that assisted? It's not assisted. Wow. Wow, this detent is very snappy. Do you hear that? Listen to this detent. Nice and snappy. Was not expecting that. It's very slim. It's not going to be super comfortable, but it's not uncomfortable. It's just not going to give you the type of ergos required for heavy use. But for basic EDC stuff, I love this blade shape. Such a good blade shape. Kind of like the... The bare knuckle, very similar to the bare knuckle, where utility cuts are going to be extremely good. You'll be able to go around boxes and cut open things. Access to the lock bar is really good. Not drop shutty, but it's not assisted, so it's easy to get back into the frame without, you know, any resistance. This almost looks like a bottle opener back here. I don't think that's what it is. If it is, I don't think it'd be too effective. Maybe. I don't know. Surprised they chose this clip. But very cool, man. Very, very cool. The deep man. I don't know why Kershaw would ever, ever do assisted knives when their detents are so good. What is this? Please keep this. Oh, man. Thank you. <laughs> I think... <laughs> Oh, man. Thanks, Todd. A gift for your utility belt. Nick Shabazz has a similar one, but this one is better. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Where do I start? I guess this is the flipper tab. Oh, it's assisted. It's got to be. Yep. Oh, man. Better hope that blade goes all the way. <laughs> okay. Super snappy. Ergos, oh man, a 10. Perfect Ergos, perfect Ergos. These don't bother me at all. Not at all in my <laughs> Let's do the next one. Oh, that one's a, a little slower, but that's okay. It's, uh, you know, the slower brother of the two. And, oh man, the Ergos like this are just, oh man, I feel like I could... Oh, do some pretty crazy stuff right now. <laughs> oh, man. This is crazy. I wonder if somebody actually uses this. Can you imagine? I mean, I guess if I was going to realistically look at it, I mean, it could open things up pretty good. We got a... Is that a... That's not a hollow, is it? It is a hollow. <laughs> we have a double recurved hollow grind, a uh, worn cliff blade, Check out the other one. See if it's consistent. We, uh, the tips are pretty rounded, but that just means Todd's been using it. 
you know, one of his faves. Um, we got a double bottle opener <laughs> next to the bat wings. Um, but yeah, this is pretty cool. Todd, thank you, man. Thank you. I can't wait to put this in my pocket, man. It looks like it'd be very comfortable. The clip looks like it'll work great. <laughs> oh, thanks, Todd. All right, next we have the Buck Paradigm. Slide the bolster to unlock. Okay. Okay, so... You gotta, oh, okay. I, I've actually um, seen videos on this. So you gotta pop this over, then flip it. USA made S35VN blade steel. Ergos, when I'm choked up, they're very comfortable. Back here, not comfortable. Uh, this clip is just gouging my hand. You can see it. When I'm back here, oh, yeah. You can actually see it just from me lightly doing it. I'm not even squeezing hard. You can already see the two spots. So, yeah, that's pretty bad. But once I get right here, though, it's out of the way. And it's very comfortable. And this is probably how I would use this knife anyways. Opening things up, push cuts, slicing. So we have a hollow grind, but it's a very robust. We have a spear point blade with a hollow grind. Beautiful swedge on top. So piercing is going to be really good. The hollow grind is a bit robust for a hollow. Not that the blade stack is super thick, but they don't start the, the, the hollow grind until over halfway down the blade. And then it's not like a dramatic hollow, but it's still a hollow grind. It seems like it cut pretty good uh, considering the tip is going to be slicier on the bottom half right here and you know, like for utility cuts, it's, it sh should work really good because it's a little thinner on this side, but then penetrating things, you know, it should work really good and still be nice and tough because of this swedge, you know, the, the spine thickness gets brought out to the tip. So that's gonna, you know, make it stronger or tougher, tougher and stronger at the tip while still being acute enough for Utility cuts. How do I close this? Oh, yeah. So, oh, because it's assisted. Right. It's assisted. Got it. Very cool. This is unique for sure. And then you lock it back in place and now it can't open up. A little tiny bit of detent lash, but it's on a spring system, so I'm not going to hold it against it. Flip it out. Opens up with authority with that assisted action. And then to close it, move this out of the way. How is it locking? I'm curious how that's working. Oh, I see it. So there's a plunge back here. When I move this, you're going to watch the plunge move. See how the plunge moves? Kind of like a button lock. So now it can move. So it's very similar to the way a button lock works. So same thing. So right now it's locked because, because that plunge is in the way. So I move this. Now the plunge is moved. And now it's ready to open. Very cool. Very, very cool. All right. We got quite a few more to get into. So maybe maybe part three. Todd likes three episodes with his unboxings. Ooh. This was labeled wrong. Because I know what this is. Maybe it was just an accident. Maybe that fell out from something else. So I'll save this. So I used to have one of these. This is one of my all-time favorite Kaisers. The Kaiser T1. I had one for a very long time. I did wind up selling it regretfully because it's such a good knife. And when they first came out... They were like 170 bucks. I believe you can get them pretty affordable now. They're not using their old pivots anymore on this. I believe they were. Mine had, I think, the swirly pivot on it, I believe. And that's kind of how you can tell their older stuff is they used a swirly pivot. Now they are just putting the regular pivots. But good geometry, great blade shape. Ergos are fantastic. The clip works really good. Access to lock bars, very nice. It's very smooth. The detents on these are, they're stout, but in a good way. They're, they're very, 
they're strong, but you have a lot of leverage. As long as you don't put pressure on the lock bar, they open up with authority. The sharpening choil or plunge grind is far away from the edge. Very cool, man. I love the Kaiser T1. Great, great knife, man. That's a solid knife. Like I said, one of my favorite Kaisers, especially from their older models. Oh, I've never tried this. Okay, this, I guess it's a, okay. The CRKT Provoke. Okay, so now I have to remember how, I think it was like this. Yeah, okay, so, bang. Now, how do I close it? I move this. I've seen the videos and stuff. Okay, so when you have it in your hand and you're like this and you want to, you know, use it, you would push down right here and just snap it. And then now you got, you know, a fighting knife. Or you could turn it around and go this way, say, for opening things up. Can I open it that way, though? Let me see. And then you just move this out of the way to close it. But... Okay, so I guess you could go, like, let me try it again. I guess I can go just like that. I want to try it all at once. So, oh, no, maybe it's not working. There we go. But we have a chisel grind. <clears throat> nice edge on this thing. Holy cow, that's a very sharp edge for a factory edge to casual design but this is this would be great for you know doing utility cuts and stuff as you can see and also slash self-defense you know that's kind of the thought behind this is the self-defense i'm wondering how okay so the, this way if you're going to hold it this way you'd have to get it back here with your thumb and then slap it forward like that once you got it down, it'd be second nature. This is obviously my first time getting to handle it. Very cool. I like that it's mechanical. I like that it's innovative. Um, would I carry something like this? Probably not. Um, do I think it'd be effective in the right hand? Yes, absolutely. Uh, which position would I use it in? Um, I personally would... I don't know. I don't know. Because after training with it and everything, I'd probably have a different perspective. Um, but I just find like something like this, I guess, oh, I guess you could wave it out too out of your pocket, right? You could wave it out, pull it out of your pocket, and then spin it. Okay. So if I got that down, Pat, I wonder what grip I'd probably go... Let me see here really quick. It opens up. I can't get out of my pocket. I'd probably want to go. I'm spending too much time on this, guys. I'm sorry. Too much time on this. Let me get to the next one. All right. The next one is a twofold. We have the CRKT BT Fighter. This is a button lock. Um, I think we have the small one in here too. Yeah, I actually used to have this one. Very cool. These uh, or no wait, I reviewed this one. I think did I? I owned one too at one point. I don't remember which one. Um. Anyways, but I did have one. I just don't remember which one it was. This is very comfortable compared to this. I remember this one. This is the most uncomfortable knife ever because of all of this. Like when it's in your hand, like just a small squeeze. Yeah. This, on the other hand, is nice. I mean, I feel this right here, but not bad. Not bad at all. And a little bit of blade rock. Very smooth on the drop. Very snappy. These things are very fun to fidget with. The, the button lock and detent are done very, very well on them, especially that large one. Oh, wait, this one has a little bit of a stiffer detent. Very nice. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now I'm breaking his stuff. Very cool. Yeah, these... Uh, 
if these were done in a more premium way, which I know they they have, you know, these in premium knives. This is like a bunch of version of the premium knife. But what I mean is by CRKT, if CRKT put a little more work into this, man, this could be an amazing, amazing knife. Which they might have, and I might be, somebody else is probably like, dude, they already have. You're an idiot. Part three coming up. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Todd, thank you. Thank you again. I will link everything down in the description. So if you haven't seen part one, you can go see part one. And if you're wondering about part three, as soon as it's uploaded, you will find it down below in the description. Peace.